I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction because each decision in the Charleston impacts the next. We're going to do two iterations and play something different with the same tiles and compare results. It's a great way to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. For this exercise, we're going to get 14 tiles and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. No multiples. Correct number of tiles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I would focus on the predominant pattern, 2468. That would be my first choice. There is some potential for like numbers with sixes, but I think there's a stronger chance for 2468. So for the first iteration, let's focus on 2468. On the second iteration, we'll focus on sixes. We may or may not use this. We have those tasks to pass. Two, four, six, eight. We'll take a photo. We did not get two, four, six, eight, but we did get a dragon. There is a two, four, six, eight hand that uses the opposite dragon. Two, four, six, eight. So we would need bams and cracks to use those. We would need the four crack here. Two, four, six, eight. So let's stick with the plan. We even have tiles we can pass. Now I forgot to take a photo. We got a dragon. a seven and the south. Yes. So I'm going to, let's see, dragon seven south. That's what we got. So I'm going to take a photo. Try not to forget to take a photo. You could mess yourself up with this exercise, almost like what I did. So let's pass these three. We'll take a photo. Here's a flower and a dragon. Flowers, two, four, six, eight. We could maybe even do like numbers with twos. This is really looking better for like numbers than two, four, six, eight. But let's stick with it and compare results. So we're gonna stick with two, four, six, eight. Here's two, six, eight. That's one tile better than these. We have to make a choice though. So let's let a six go. We'll take a photo. We picked up an eight and a dragon there, but this is filling out a little better. We're missing a four dot. 
There is a mixed suit concealed hand with four six. Let's keep these. Two, four, six, eight, but we would need one of these suits. So let's let the two go. And we'll take a photo. We did pick up a two, two, four, six, eight. Let's let that one go. Wait a minute. We could maybe play eight, nine dragon, but we wouldn't be able to use the flowers. And we'll take a photo there. We didn't get any evens. We have like numbers, three, five. I think what I would do is let the two go and pass two, three, five. So we got a flower. We did pick up a pair here. These flowers, three flowers. I would probably focus on that first hand and let this go, break up this pair. This is a little bit risky, three, four. Another thing we could do is keep the three and pass two, but joker bait early in a game doesn't typically work out. Usually joker bait works well if you can let one, one of the tiles go in the third wall. Because we have a pair here we don't need really if we use these flowers. You know what we could do is play a quint right here. Give up on two, four, six, eight. It really didn't come in. I think that's what I would do. I would focus on the quint. Let the two go. No keepers, but we did get a nine. I don't think that's going to really be very helpful though. I think I would focus on a quint. So we have a potential quint with four discards in joker bait, maybe. Another thing we could do is switch to a year hand. That two, four, six, eight hand just didn't really come in. So let's use the same tiles and see if we would have better results with like numbers. Like numbers with sixes, I think is what we were going to look at. So let's do another iteration. Okay, I think I got it right. So we were gonna do like numbers with sixes, I think. We could maybe do twos. Like numbers, I would keep the dragon and the flower. Twos or sixes. So let's pass the north, the four, and the nine. White dragon, we'll keep it. That's the first multiple. We could play like numbers with twos or sixes. Oh, we picked up the pair of sevens. That's a multiple. I would keep it. We'll pass those. Flower. And we have a dragon and a seven. So I would keep the multiples. 
we do have some potential for a year hand. Here's our multiple. If we can get a seven dot, we could use that one at least. So we have a joker, flowers, six, seven. We almost have the makings of a pear hand here. We'll have to throw away the joker. Six, seven, six, seven, six. I don't think I would do that though, because I would not pass this. I would not pass like numbers. Some people do, I do not. I think it's just as risky as passing a pair. Especially with the year being 2020, that would be very risky. We could maybe consider a quint. I would keep the seven because the white dragon doesn't correspond with this seven. I probably wouldn't keep that red for like numbers because we wouldn't be able to use that. So I would probably let these three go. We've got the green dragon. Same thing, unless we get a seven dot. Now we could use this maybe for like numbers with sevens and dragons. Let's pass these three. Let's see. We do have some potential for consecutive run in mixed suits, six, seven, eight. So let's keep that and pass these three. Focusing on like numbers though, we'll pass those three. We got threes, that's not helpful. We really want sevens. I would break this up. I would not pass like numbers. So let's let the six go. We got the flower and we picked up a seven. So we have like number, number potential with sevens. With or without dragons, we have three flowers. I would probably try for the one with five flowers and pass mm, these three. Full pass. No keepers. So we could still consider a quint with either seven or like numbers with sevens. I think this iteration has better results building around like numbers. We still have four discards and joker bait. So it is really equitable results, but I think this has maybe a better chance because we've got multiples of sevens and the joker. Mahjong is a very flexible game. American Mahjong is a little more precise than others because we have a set number of hands that we can play. Regardless, if you build around multiples, you can still have great flexibility and leverage the strength of the hand to give yourself a better outcome after the Charleston and strength going into the pick and discard phase of the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.